This next item is gonna knock your socks off. Um, <laughs> what a ding dong. It hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies, I decided to make this a two-part video because I have, I think, close to 20 items going out and I want to mix in some plush unboxings. So um, we're going to make it two separate videos. I don't know if I'm going to release the same day or release one on one day and one the next day. So either way, watch for the first one or the second one, whichever one you're watching first. It doesn't matter which order you watch them in, but uh, definitely check them both out and I'll have on this shirt. All right, this next item came from a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It's a, basically a reseller box that I got from Donatella Bottolino. This has been a long tail item. I will sell, tell you that I did get multiples. Some of them sold quickly, and this one has taken a little bit longer to sell. That was like an extreme close-up of my face. I apologize, and I'm gonna show you what these are. Okay, so here it is. These are the Kellogg's Breakfast Game Tony the Tiger pins. They're pin backs, and they are vintage. I sold these right here. Um, I'll pop up a screenshot of what they sold for, but I just went and looked, and my eBay listing for these disappeared. Um, I had two that were white and two that were blue that um, sold, and I might have had some other blue ones that sold, but my eBay listing disappeared. So I wonder how many listings I have that have disappeared. And then I've got these really cool pin backs right here. So those are still listed. I do have them in bubble wrap because they are super sharp. And I'm going to take these out and relist them. So these are the ones that sold. So some of you may be thinking, don't you inventory? No, I don't. If it if it falls off of eBay, I'm going to hope it's still on Mercari or Poshmark and it'll sell eventually. I do not inventory. There is no way that I'm going to take the time to inventory 7,000 items. If it's if I find it like this one, like I just found these and I can't find them, I will um pull them and list them, but no. I don't have time for that. <laughs> do not have time for that. So down in the comments, let me know what your inventory uh, system is. Do you guys inventory or do you not inventory? Okay, so I totally got sidetracked. That came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And that's basically a reseller box. So if you guys are looking for inventory, I've talked about Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. They are linked down below in the description. This next item is going to knock your socks off. Okay, we have another bag of free plush from a viewer. She messaged me, said, come get it. I need it out of my house. So here's what we got. All right, the first one here is a Stackin' Stackable Friends. It's like a little bird or chirp, chip, chip, <laughs> a little chick maybe. I don't know what it is. We have an H. Um, it has a little something there. I'll have to spot clean it if I decide to list it. Um, it is, I believe that's Justice, right? Let's see. I don't know. But um, sequin, it's an H. Cute. I think there's some big stuff in this one as well. So we may put this video in the last video together. This is one of those uh, pillow pets. Um little miracles i am gonna look that one up it kind of feels a little bit like the filling is separated so i may just donate that but maybe that's how it's supposed to be so i will give it a chance oh my oh my goodness all right we're going into tote eight. Oh, it's the tote <laughs> i mean it's good because things are selling in this tote but every time i get in this tote i'm like oh my goodness i have to move all these amazing puzzles um, they're vintage and super, super cool. And then my Blinkies, they never sold. They never sold over Christmas. I thought for sure they would. They're displays. I can't find anything like them. They are absolutely incredible. I show on my reseller testing Bolo products how my husband like 
hooked them up to a battery just to confirm that they worked. And they actually work, but because it's a display, you would probably somehow need to format them into a pin back button. But I think honestly, somebody who is a collector is going to buy these up. And I'm just gonna sit on them and wait for the right buyer. Will I take a best offer on those? Yeah, most definitely. I don't even remember what I have them listed for, but I do have them listed high because they're such a unique item. But um, definitely, definitely cool. Okay, here it is. It's somewhere in this bag. These came from that same estate clean out, you guys. They are these old buttons. And I actually took the time to list these in small lots. And I'm gonna show you why I took the time to do that. So I'm looking for one that looks like a heart. And they all have like these different shapes on them. And I was able to use Google Lens and they are marked on the back. Um, I'll pop up the screenshot to show you guys the brand. But um, they're just incredible. This one's like a, is that an eagle? I'm not sure. Okay, so I think this is the one that I sold. There's 12 in here. They have like little hearts on them. And I sold these for $55. Best offer of $55. So let me show you some of the other ones here. They're just super cool. And these were from that estate buyout where I would just go and pick up a ton of stuff. They would give me one price. So my cost of goods is really, really low for these items. And I took a chance on these and I listed them high. So they're little um, buttons, but you can see they're marked on the back. Can you see it? And I was, I looked them up and they had good comps and I just went with it. So nice bolo right there. This next item is in tote R. R. <laughs> R, matey. Okay. Anyway, um, it is a, it's a little Pokemon figure. I got it out of the Goodwill bins. So it's probably in one of these bags. I sold it for $7.44. But I gotta find it. Where are you, little buddy? He's not very big. The life of a reseller right here. Digging through totes, looking for your items. I love it. I don't mind, um, I shouldn't say that. This is probably my least favorite part. <laughs> but I try not to complain about shipping because I want to have um, sales, you know? I want to ship because that's how we make our money. And if I don't sell anything, then I have nothing to ship. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and find it. I'll be right back. You remember this bag with the Mickey Mouse car? There it is. I knew it was in there. I just had a feeling. I had to go back to it and really look for it. It's just a little Pokemon figure. $7.44. Buyer paid shipping on that. So, I mean, I got this out of the Goodwill bins. $1.89 a pound. I probably paid like, what, 10, 15 cents for this? We have this cutie right here. Disney princess. I don't know which princess. Is that Belle, maybe? From Beauty and the Beast. I'm not certain. I'll have to Google lens it. Um, it's got something on it. So I'll have to figure out if I can get that clean or not. And see if it's worth it. Oh my. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this big dude. He's got some dirt there. So wow. 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 Wow, it's a big cow. He's a little dirty there. I don't even think I could put that in my washing machine because I don't think it would dry in the center. Um, I'm going to look it up, but unless it comps out high, it will probably be uh, just donated. P Puffy. Puffy the cow from... Oh, my dog has a hairball. 2012. Sorry, guys, about that. Okay, it's cute. It sure is cute. So we'll see on that one. Oh, we got some big ones. This one is Harrington's Teddy Bear Club TBC official certificate of authenticity. Uh, re redeem this coupon to receive a free. Oh, never mind. It doesn't have it. Um, okay. That's what it looks like. So it's just kind of a plain teddy bear. How do you guys do with plain teddy bears? It came from the thrift store. It's got the thrift store color tag on it. I'll have to pull that off. 
Um, I am going to look this up. It is St. Andrew's products created exclusively for TBC Teddy Bear Club. Huh. Limited edition 2001. He's pretty big. Um, as far as big plush, they're kind of annoying to ship. Um, I will do it, but I'm always in a hurry to try to get rid of them because they take up so much space. Let me know how you feel about big plush. You guys, this may end up being two videos. I have so much to ship. Um, I actually just sold another Bolo, $45. Whoop, whoop. So we will get to that. But this next item came from Rich's Family Jewels. Um, they reached out to me on Facebook Messenger and said, come get this plush tomorrow. I need it out of my house and you can have it free. And I've been listing it. It's all listed. I've been doing unboxings with my vlog style videos. And I just sold another one for $21.70. This side of my basement is not finished. The ceiling. Everything else is finished, but not the ceiling. So you guys get to look at that when I'm in here. All right, this one is in tote E. -E. I think it's this one right here. And it is a Hallmark plush. I need to look and make sure this says E. -E. Oh, no, it says GG. All right, let's go over here. Is this one EE? -E? No, that's FF. <laughs> is this one EE? -E? Okay, so I'm really tight against these clothes right here. So I'm like pushing stuff out of my way. But that's okay. Um, so it is a teddy bear plush right here. And it's a press here. I always pick up animated plush. This one was given to me as a gift. Um, from a viewer who just needed the stuff gone and I sold this for $21.70 plus shipping and I will pop up a screenshot of its little cheeks light up also. It's super cute. And I am also going to link her store down in the description of the video so you guys can go down there and check it out and if you click that little heart you can follow her store to see new items that she has listed. Speaking of big plush, hang tight. Did I say big plush? I mean huge plush. This dude is massive. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see what it's made by. It is um, not seeing what it's made by. 2013. Uh, sometimes it says it on this tag. Don't say anything. So um, the white is not really white and it's huge. It's one of those like probably that you lay on the floor and just plop down on I would say um, I'm just gonna donate that one and I'm gonna look up the other ones and see what we're gonna keep here hey you guys I'm gonna be honest with you this item has been listed for two years and I got it from a thrift store I paid 50 cents for it I can't remember if it came out of a mystery box. It's been so long ago and I just like put 50 cents because I was guessing that's how much I paid for it or if I bought it like in the store and paid 50 cents for it. So I don't want to be a liar. So we'll just say I think my cost of goods was about 50 cents for these. They are super, super cool, but it's been two years ago. So I just, I don't know. I think I have these priced too high because they have not sold and they're new old stock. Here they are. These right here. So they have tinsel inside of them and they're really, really neat. They're Christmas ornaments. Oh my goodness. And just a bread and butter item, but aren't they neat? And these sold after Christmas. It was either December 31st or January 1st. That's what I'm shipping out right now. So I think they're really cool. And I don't know. I think they're plastic. Are they plastic or glass? Who knows? I don't know, but they're neat. So, okay. So these sold for $9.29 plus shipping. We got to go back over to the room with the totes with the letters. I call it like my letter tote room. Oh my goodness. I um, Typically, I try to do everything in one room. Lights coming on. And then I go, I'm much more, I do it differently. But since I'm recording, I'm just kind of all over the place. But let me flip the camera and show you guys what sold. And this is a Hallmark, I 
think it's a baby's first Christmas. Let me see if I can find it here. No, I'm sorry. It's Precious Moments. And I priced it kind of high because I couldn't find any that were listed. $19.95, baby's first Christmas. This sold after Christmas. So if I had to guess, my guess would be that somebody was putting their tree away and they broke their Christmas ornament and they scrambled to eBay to find a replacement. I want to say this sold for $32. I'll pop up a screenshot and the buyer paid shipping on that. So do baby's first Christmas ornaments sell that are dated at an old date? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm so happy that I had what this person needed. Oh, we got a turtle here. Or no, that's not a turtle. What is that? Is that, is that a turtle? Maybe it, it's a turtle shell. It doesn't really look like a turtle, but I guess it could be a turtle that does something. It's got a button. I have to put a battery in it. Okay, stay tuned. I probably won't put what it does on this channel, but you can check my reseller testing Bolo products channel if you want to see any animated toys that I find. This is a Minnie Mouse. This one is... Um, J. Franco and Sons? Never heard of that, but it's just a mini. Her nose is a little pointed up. I think it's probably from being in the bag so long. All right, what's next? All right, this next item is in Tote 20, and I took a best offer of $10 for this, and I don't remember where Tote 20 is. You guys probably know where Tote 20 is by now better than me, so let me turn this off and find it. <laughs> I found it. Okay. Like I said, it's good exercise. What did I sell? Oh yeah. I sold a piece of Little Tykes furniture right here. So this one came, I remember now because I'm looking at all the items in the bag. I went to a garage sale and they had a, a house. And I ended up parting out the house, but they had a lot of other miscellaneous things that didn't even go with it. Um, like these do not go with it. They go with something else. I was able to use Google Lens to figure it out. I can't remember what it is, but they're available in my store. And yeah, like here's the bushes, like this little doll was there. So these all came from that, that buy. So I was super happy with that. But this is just a little like kitchen set. And I sold this for $10 plus shipping. Cost of goods, I don't know, not much because I just bought all of it and by the time you divide it out, it's probably less than a buck. Okay, if this is a two-part video, you may have missed my whole story about American Bubble Boy and why I am now using it, but definitely go check that out. But I am looking at this bubble wrap compared to what I have and look at these bubbles. They're so full. I'm so happy with the product. I do have a referral link down below if you guys need bubble wrap. They ship it free um it's awesome so go check out the website and if you check out part one i'm thinking this is going to be a two-part video um i show you the website so you can check that out bubbles the poofy side goes in i do wrap plastic because i have had items break when i did not and i just put that one layer of protection on there Okay, so I broke it in half thinking I could use one sheet and it was too wide. So I did have to use both sheets, but I just wrapped it separately. Um, now I have a nice little box this will fit right down into. Pop it in, fold the flaps, it's ready to go. Okay, tote 45, this next item, I just took a best offer of $45. I had it listed for 62 on sale for 62. I got these at a garage sale for $1 and they are vintage Easter buckets, and they are so cute. Um, they People had them listed individually. I decided to sell mine as a lot, and somebody offered me 45, so I went ahead and ran with that. Could I have waited until closer to Easter and probably got my full asking price of $60, $65? Yes, but I paid a buck for them, and $45 is a really nice profit, so I am gonna run with the money. Okay, here's a bunch more totes that I have. <laughs> So, like I said, a state clean out and I bought a ton of totes. And I'm not passing up totes, not passing them up. So, I did buy them all, but I got a good price on them and I will use them. 
This little tote right here is where I put my special kind of ephemera items, items that I don't want to get bent up. And I sold another one of these cabbage patch certificates. I believe I sold it for 15 or 15.50. So I picked up a bunch of Cabbage Patch clothing at a garage sale. I'm probably going to be bringing that stuff to whatnot because I just don't have time to list it all. Um, and I just got to move stuff. And whatnot is I'm really enjoying it. So if you're not following me on whatnot, there is a link down in the description. And if you join with it, you can get $15 free money to shop. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And if you want to sell and whatnot, I have a separate link. So after you join to buy, if you want to sell, you can click on the seller's link and that will take you over and it will tell them that I referred you. And those are both referral links. So I do get a kickback on that. So I appreciate it if you guys use my link to join. This is the one that sold Orson Frankie. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think I have a typo in the title. <gasps> Hopefully they looked at the picture and I don't get an item not as described. If so, they'll probably just open a return. I think I put Orin or maybe it auto-corrected. I don't think it was Orson. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, that sold. So they threw these in free. So I don't have any money in these. So the um, clothes are coming to whatnot. So be sure you're following me over there on whatnot. I just looked. It says Orion. Orion Frankie instead of, instead of Orson Frankie. Oh, so, um, I think I'm just going to ship it because I'm guessing they probably looked at it and it's probably going to be fine, but, um, <laughs> what a ding dong. It probably auto corrected. I have no idea, but now the fun part is over unless I get another sale. I think I'm done digging. Now I'm going to ship for this certificate. I am going to take a piece of paper a piece of cardboard, just kidding. And I am going to put this, I'm gonna leave it in the Ziploc bag. I am gonna take another piece of cardboard and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Put a little piece of tape on it and I'm gonna slip it into this poly mailer. Is this a whale? Uh, no, it's a mermaid tail. <laughs> Close, it's a mermaid tail. It's one of those flip sequins. Uh, no tag. So I would just call that a flip sequin mermaid tail. Somebody might want that. It's pretty, right? Pretty and pink and silver. And... All right, let me get this big guy out of here. Here he is. Just pulled him out of the bag. Look at his cute face. Hello, how are you guys? All right, let's see. Does he have a tush tag? He reminds me of that Spark Imaginext one that I, or maybe that, no, maybe that wasn't the brand. He's Kelly Toy. And he is cuteness. All right, there's a couple more things in the bag. Oh my goodness. What do we got? We have some TYs, which I will probably, well, that one's got a tag. Maybe I'll just put them in a lot or something. So these pens will go into a pillow box. This little figure is gonna go into a pillow box. Everybody says they look like they're from McDonald's. They are not. Um, and it just closes up like that. And they're pretty sturdy. And then I will just throw that into a standard like poly mailer, eBay poly mailer. So, and it's ready to go. All right, you guys, I am so sorry if you have seen this shipping tip before, but uh, the buttons were $55. So if I want to add insurance over on eBay, it's going to cost me $1.70 with ship coverage or ship cover insurance. It's going to cost me $3.35 with USPS insurance to ship a first class item with $55 insurance. Let's go over to Pirate Ship. So what I used to do if I knew that an item was going to be over $50, I would automatically put that item on priority mail, but anymore, like it's so hard to file a claim with priority mail that I'm like, I'm just gonna ship first class and I'm gonna add insurance to those items. Insurance over on pirate ship is 80 cents for $55. That is a huge discount, you guys. Definitely check out pirate ship. It is absolutely free to use. Um, I use eBay shipping for most of my stuff, but for when I have an item that is first class, usually over $40, I will add insurance through Pirate Ship. 
let's say I have a priority mail item that's over $100, I will come over and do the same thing on pirate ship. It is just much cheaper insurance. And from what I understand, it is much like better. <laughs> You're more than likely going to not have a problem with your claim from the people that I have talked to that have used it and had a claim. It's been a easy, seamless process. I have not had a claim yet. If I do, I will definitely keep you guys posted. But for now, I'm going with the 80 cents. Okay, so here's one little tip that I have when I have plush going out. Like these are not gonna break, so I don't really need to bubble wrap them. I'm just gonna leave them inside this to protect them from the weather. I'm gonna put my sticker on there. But what I get concerned about is somebody using like scissors or something to open it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna tape over that. So if they cut through it, it's gonna cut this cardboard and it's not gonna cut the item. Okay, so that's one thing I do. You can also place it under however you do it. But what I will do is I'll probably do it like this and I'll put a piece of tape this way to hold it in place and then tape across it again. So that's just a little shipping tip. And it's not something you have to do, but you don't wanna get a notification from the buyer saying, my item has a slit in it. It came to me damaged. And you're like, well, did you cut it with scissors or a razor blade? And you know, they're, they're gonna want their money back. So that's how you fix that problem. Okay, so this was a viewer sale. So I'm gonna put a little owl on the package. I need to find some more owl stickers. Uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, she sent me um, a bunch of stickers and they were owls and I used those on my whatnot packages. And then I found these in some sticker stock that I had. And I was like, I love this idea. So now I'm on the hunt for owl stickers. Okay, Bolo Buddies, for more shipping tips, go over to Prime Time Treasure Hunters channel. And he just did this video recently, 100 shipping tips in 10 minutes. You guys, I kid you not, it's 100 shipping tips in 10 minutes. It's unbelievable. He has an amazing channel. Definitely subscribe to Primetime Treasure Hunter on YouTube. I will link him down in the description. All right, we are going over here to Tote. And I picked up these pillowcases at the Goodwill Bins. And I can't remember if they were in the hard goods or where because I typically stay in the hard goods. Oh my gosh. Oh, open up. Okay. So I actually found two of them. I, maybe they were with the purses and stuff. I don't know. But they retail for $35. I do think they are discontinued. They're by Chris Madden. But anyway, pillowcases are expensive. So uh, 400 thread count, Egyptian cotton, two king pillowcases. Retail 35. I just sold these for uh, $15.50 plus shipping. And I do have one more set available in my store. One thing I love about items like this, throw it in a poly mailer and it is ready to go. So easy to ship. Okay, Bolo Buddies, this ended up being a two-part video. So go check out part one to see what else I sold and what else I found in those bags of plush. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.